Hi, Afnan here. Today I'm going to show how I made this 15mm mini siphon for the gutter robot. The 15mm mini siphon, main components of this siphon will be one, the stem pipe, two, the outer strainer, three, the outlet. For the 15mm stem pipe, it has three parts that is required. First is the tank adapter, the 15mm tank adapter, reducer to make the funnel, 25 to 15mm reducer, piece of 15mm PVC cut to about one and a half inch or one inch. How is it assembled? The tank adapter and use the that's how it is. The PVC is inside and just put it in so that it's going to be flush and uh, for gutter grow bit this length is just nice. The most you will need to extend it a bit if require. If uh, any extension require, you can use 25 millimeter PVC pipe and cut it to length. Or if your grow bit is higher, you can always use it to whatever height that is required. So that's how the stand pipe is made. Let's assemble the siphon further. The outer strainer is made with a van cow. That is a 50 millimeter van cow. The end cap for the van cow and 50 millimeter UPVC tubes. You only need about three inches of these tubes or if your grow bit is higher, you can have it longer. First, this van cow need to be drilled. Make a hole, 20 millimeter hole. This hole can be roughly around 20 to 22 millimeter. No big deal and cut a piece of that UPVC for my particular in the particular case where I use for my gutter grow bit is about 3 inches so let's assemble these two first before we go into how to make the outlet can remove the tank adapter tank adapter will come with two seal so you can remove one of the seal out and with one of the seal is installed, you can put it in to the uh, van cow. And you can put the other seal. And you can install this actually to the grow bed. After making a same hole on the grow bed, you can install it into the grow bed. Then you can secure it with the nut from the outside, bottom of the grow bed. So that's how the stand pipe looks like. A very simple stand pipe. As I mentioned, it can be extended if required with a 25 millimeter uh, PVC. And that's the 50 millimeter UPVC. And finally, is the cap. You don't need to put it tightly or seal it. Nothing required because when you need to clean it you can use a bottle brush and clean it and put it back in no problem it will be uh, sealed it will be airtight and works without any problem so you don't have to push it jam it in not required that's will do okay that's the siphon top 
let's show how I made the outlet outlet will have few more parts to it first part of the outlet is this what they call the PT socket this we need to screw into from outside the grow bed to the siphon okay then you need two 90 degrees elbow you can get away with one actually but best to have two PVC pipes uh, it's about one feet of PVC pipe sufficient to make uh, the mini siphon you already cut about one inch for the stand pipe then you cut another three inch four inch and a five inch so first how it's made is from the PT socket use the the, the four inch put an elbow put the three inch another elbow and finally put the five inch so that's how the outlet is made is quite um, versatile you can always put it this way to have a longer down down initial uh, vertical or you can make it this way you can just uh, mix around what's best for you and this siphon outlet is secure from underneath the grow bed to the siphon So that's the completed siphon how it's supposed to look like I'm just trying to get it into frame for the camera something interesting about the outlet due to the very small nature of this siphon there are various outlet that I made to make it more efficient this is the baseline, which is the basic outlet. That's the basic outlet. If I have some problem with the siphon, I normally the first thing I will do is to increase the length of the first vertical. So increase the length so that you have more downward force from the siphon. You can see that's the difference between the two and another problem that I face after prolonged operation of the siphon algae build up since these are very small tubes 15 millimeter it's easily get uh, the diameter internal diameter will be easily get reduced so I have an option where I make this kind of outlet let me show you the outlet it's slightly different what's happening here is that initially it will be 15 millimeter then I step it up to 20 15 to 20 uh, coupling then this is a 20 millimeter and the rest will be 20 millimeter downwards the whole idea is that if prolonged operation algae build up it will be building up less in the uh, 20 millimeter part of the siphon down pipes if it's like this the the whole of the down pipe will get smaller and smaller internally so these are the option if you do not have any problem initially use this outlet then experiment with this and finally experiment with this in order to make the siphon works better okay that's all i think for the siphon how it's made only thing is that sometimes you need to use this siphon to a bigger 
larger grow bin. In that situation, what I recommend that I put it aside. What I recommend is instead of using a 25 to 15 millimeter reducer, make something bigger. Use 32 to 15 reducer and with 32 to 15 reducer you cannot use the 2 inch PVC what you need to use will be this size which is the 3 inch so you can use the 3 inch van cow instead of the 2 inch van cow and this size is actually what I use on my ornamental set it have a big better rooms and installation is the same because the the size of the siphon is the same the outlet is the same the only difference is that this part is bigger 32 millimeter and if you require extension you can easily extend it with 32 millimeter UPVC uh, PVC pipes. This size actually can uh, be used on larger grow bin. So this type of siphon is very much recommended for larger grow bin. And finally, you use this uh, uh, 82 or 82 millimeter UPVC or three inch at the outer part and use the end cap very similar look to my 20 millimeter uh, siphon but internally i'm using a 15 by using a 15 millimeter siphon it have a very low water inflow requirement this size of siphon, these two sizes of siphon having the same internal standpipe. A slight different, this will use 32 to 15 and this will use 25 to 15 reducer. Both of these siphon will require a pump of 500 liter per hour capacity. 500 liter per hour capacity pump is roughly around 8 watts of electrical power required. So each of these siphon will require 500 liter per hour pump capacity. And you can use this on a bigger grow bit. And still the same pump is used. Right, that's it. That's uh, how I made my siphon for the gutter. And both the siphon works i've tested it for more than a year and i've used this particular siphon uh, on my gutter grow bit since last july so roughly uh, six to seven months okay thanks very much for watching bye